Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we made a lot more progress. We found out about the Lover Snapper really easily, and we, I guess, just took care of a bunch of the other uh, recipes I needed to. So real quick... We are up to 53% overall and 56% specifically for the accessories. Last time wasn't a very long one, so let's take care of our water in real quick. Okay, and how far can I go? Can I go here yet? We actually have access to basement 420. So... Oh! Huh, there's only one more section left. That's awesome. Oh, and I can get more wool. Come on, don't run from me. I know you don't like me very much, but don't run. I have decided to uh, save there because I actually need Aquamarine. And I got some immediately, so no matter what, I have at least one. I'll keep it, I guess. No, I'm not keeping more than one. And I don't need iron. Oh. Good morning, Arya. Be careful not to get hurt when you play. Alrighty. Yeah, okay. In no particular order, let's start with Sapphire. With three gold, that will make the level 43 recipe, the Sapphire Brooch. And now one Emerald with three gold, will make the level 33 recipe, the Emerald Brooch. One Amethyst with three gold will make the Amethyst Brooch. One Ruby with four gold will make the Ruby Brooch. It should be noted that the Amethyst is level 36, the Emerald's 33, Sapphire's 43, the Ruby is a 40, and finally, I believe it's a diamond and four gold will make the level 47 recipe, the diamond brooch. Now, there is one I admitted there, the Aquamarine brooch. I believe I already made that one. So I'll double check that. <laughs> I have enough gold for it, so I could just make it, but if I could save gold, I'd rather save gold. Now to double check. The Aquamarine Ring. Yep, I have done the brooch. Okay. The Sapphire Brooch, a charming pink sapphire brooch, designed to look like a shell. Diamond Brooch, a gold brooch set with a diamond, its beautiful form complements its natural sparkle. Emerald Brooch, a brooch set with a large emerald, its sheer size makes its centerpiece of any collection. Ruby Brooch, a sparkling red ruby brooch that moves your heart, shines like a star in the sunlight. Amethyst Brooch, a brooch that radiates like a mysterious aura and heals the heart and mind. So, yeah, that's actually decent defense on all of these items. Like, the Hachimaki at max level is 11. This is 11 at only level 4. And, you know, like, I'm sure there are other differences. So, I would lose out on 4 attack, but I'd actually gain 3 defense because this boosts your vitality. And I would boost 6 magic defense. So, if you have access to the gold and ruby... Even a low-level one of these is really worth doing. Like, how does this compare to the Evil Charm? 16 defense. I was out on 9 magic attack and boost my magic defense by 6. Honestly, this is kind of worth doing. <laughs> huh, I might make another one of these at some point. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. The Goblin Sniper. Tanya, time for training. Come see me, okay? Before we do that, though, I actually need to go on a trip. We're going to be running all the way up here. Uh, yeah, there is one here. I need a giant's fingernail. And I keep missing, so that's unfortunate. 
Oh well. Get these to respawn. And I got one. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Okay. Oh, you've come for a trial? Here's what I'd like you to do today then. I want you to defeat 10 goblin snipers, okay? Remember, under underestimate your phone, you can get badly hurt, so be careful. I hear they like high places, so I bet you can find them up in the mountains. Keep your wits about you. All right, finally. Okay, I want to make the barn larger. An expansion to the barn, I see. Do you have 50 pieces of wood and 5,000 G? Oh, it looks like you have the required materials and money. Very well, we'll milk the arrangements. Thank you. I'll hire the best. It will be finished by tomorrow morning. Okay. Now with that done, I am absolutely good. I believe that's actually the last expansion. Like if I go down here, we haven't built that floor yet, but if I go down to the ones before that, I can actually go there. I don't know why you'd ever need this many monsters, but I suppose if you really want to min-max, you could get like a bunch of monsters at once, just grow your fields full of uh, feed and just harvest every day and just go for it. Like you, you can do that. I've never been that fond of having that many monsters, but like, if that's how you want to play, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm fine with just the ones I keep around, but you know, it's all up to you. Now, I believe the goblin archers are up here. Yeah. Defeated the target monster. Or, not archer, sorry, snipers. Neat. I got a cheap bandage. Appreciated. I actually needed one of those anyway. Defeat of five. Done? No, one more. There we go. Defeated your toe under your quota of the target a monster. Done. We're actually halfway to level 42 at this point. Now, while we're here anyway... Freaking bird. Let's reset it. There, got one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. No, no flying for you. Eight. There we go. It took nine, but I did it. You managed to do it. Well done. How did you like my choice for you this time, then? Anyway, here's your reward. You got 3,500 G. You're making great progress. Keep it up. All right. On to the next quest. Trial for the Hobgoblin. That should actually be easier. Ah, uh, welcome. It's trial time, then. This time out, I want you to turn your attention to hobgoblins. Can you defeat ten of them for me? Hobgoblins are very clever. Be prepared for a battle of wits. Anyway, just do your best. That's all I can ask. I believe hobgoblins are the ones that we were beating up two at a time while beating up a single one of the goblin snipers. So this will take less time. All right. I've brought your lunch. Yeah, what do we get today? Today you're having fried rice. Yes! You got the fried rice. See you tomorrow. Heck yeah. You know what? 
372, 77, and all those stats. So I got 20 HP, 10 RP, and whatever stats are currently different. So good to know, Future Gabe will be telling you exactly what's different now. Okay, we're gonna take four silver, one iron, and a pretty string all together. Sparkly string, rather. To make the pendant. And now we're gonna take that pendant, a skull, you know where this is going. It's that Gale Pendant that I actually accidentally threw away rather than making. Oops. The level 42 recipe, Gale Pendant. So I read the description last episode. Gale Pendant, here we go. There we go. Now I've shipped them all. Except for one, but we can't do that yet. Now I believe these are Hobgoblins right here. Yes, yes, they are. Oh no! Aria, watch out! The side of your head! Oh no! Okay, that was easy. Oh. Another cheap bandage, nice. Another proof of warrior, nice. Five monsters. I believe this is the final batch. Yep, and we're done. You managed to do it, well done. If you ever find yourself in a bit of trouble, use an accessory to raise your defense, especially when bought at my store. Anyway, here's your reward. 3800G. Ah, oh, that's right, I'm a minion. I've got something else to give you. You got missing page number two. I'm sure you can get more out of it than I ever could. <laughs> well, good luck out there. So, it is the missing page two for the water laser ability. I don't know if we have that. Give me a minute. Have we done that? Well, we have the missing page for it. Both one and two. Hmm. Mayhaps I should deal with this, because this is just taking up more space now. Give me a moment. This would explain it. I forgot about this. Hmm? What's this? It looks like a magic book. You got the magic book water laser. Yay, I got water laser. So tomorrow morning I'll have to deal with that. But, while this does take another inventory slot today, it is incredibly nice to have this sitting next to each other. Water laser fires water at high pressure. However, the book is badly damaged. Missing page one, a page from the a page from the water laser magic book. Describes how to use powerful magic. Missing page two, the final page of the water laser magic book. Can't be used until the first page has been restored. So what we're gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna show off Water Laser, then I'm gonna repair it once, show it off again, then I'm gonna repair it a second time and show it off. I also need missing page one for stone spikes, so give me a moment. Oh, it's that one. I was working towards that, wasn't I? That would be why. Alright. White cabbage for Egan. I'm delighted. Is this for me? I'm so happy. You can use white cabbage in a lot of different foods. I really treasure it. Was that a loved gift? I thought it was only a liked gift, but he specifically talked about it, so interesting. Hello. Good afternoon. Your father did a lot for the town. Oh, thank you. Egan's at two. Theoretically, I should be able to do his next request now, right? There we go. This time, I want you to bring some food to Gordon for me. Uh, Aria, I have a small favor to ask of you. Would you mind delivering the dry curry to Gordon for me? I want to make sure he gets it while it's still warm, but I'm a bit busy at the moment. Can you help me out? Sure, I'll bring it to him for you. 
Thank you very much. Receive the dry curry. Sorry to bother you again, Arya. All right, to Gordon. Hello there, Arya! You're just like your father, Arya! Always so full of energy! Not quite as much energy as my Cammy, but still! Dry curry? What you giving me that for? It's from Egan. Oh, I see! You delivered it him to... You delivered it here for him! Thanks! Well, this looks delicious! That Egan sure is a good cook! Here, Arya, have a bite! It's yummy! Wow, it's yummy! Egan's food is really delicious! Yeah, <laughs> I knew you'd like it! Anyway, be sure to tell Egan thanks for me! I will. Uh, thanks for your help delivering that to me. Thanks for your help for delivering that for me, Arya. No problem. Quinn told me to thank you. Ah, uh, he did, did he? Well, it's entirely thanks to you, Arya. Please take this. Think of it as a reward for your hard work. You got dry curry. Thanks, as always, for your help, Arya. Ah, huh. was that? Maybe it's his third request? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Weird. All right, Tanya Furpuff, which is the upgraded to the chip squeak, I believe. <sighs> Ready for more fun today? Why don't we try? Why don't we try defeating 10 fur puffs? The red one is a chip squeak, but the yellow one is a fur puff. Don't confuse the two. You need to keep your eye out for those little details. That's the mark of a true mass of a master fighter. Well, good luck out there. Yep, sure enough. So nighttime, we have to wait for. So I'm busy. Okay, so right up here at the cave altar, we are going to go fishing. Oh no. Oh, we got lucky. But we won't for long. Oh, I need one of these anyway. Let's destroy these. Okay, so my goal is to spend the rest of my daytime trying to get time in. Speak of the devil and it shall appear. This is actually going better than I thought it would. Okay, teleportation. Okay, I'm gonna cook up my Crucian carp real quick. Now, 262 and 63. How much does this heal? Gives back 5 RP and it heals 20 HP. So, not bad. So, let's just eat these up. I don't need money. Also, whatever the secondary effect is to this. Now, this might be a waste. Do I have the recipe for this? It does not appear I have the recipe for this. Um, I should have, like, a 64% chance, I think. I believe it's a level 36 recipe. No, failure. Attempt to. Salted time in. Okay, my cooking's in the middle of the end now. And now it's the end of the L. So, one, two, three, four. Let's go with four letters worth, so not bad. Like I mentioned a couple episodes ago, I need to grind my cooking. And that's what I'm doing. Skill level increased. So, pretty much empty. I believe that means I have like a 73% chance, so let's check it. There it is. Yep, 73. Cool. Okay. So, I went from none all the way up to the middle of the sea. Towards the end of the sea, but, you know, whatever. Oh, and these do stack. That's something I forgot. Forgot that food does stack in this game. Might as well cook this and eat this. 
Salted thyme in. Thyme in salted, then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier it will be when it's cooked. So at level one, it's over a thousand golds. So that's really not bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start. I'm gonna ship one of the salted thyme in. I'm actually gonna just eat the rest. So there we go. 420. Oh, I need like one more kill until I, or oh, one more sending back to the forest beginnings until I level up. Apparently it was more than one and I'm a liar. Also, my food wore off, so these are my current stats. I'm at 322.43. So it gives me 5 RP, 40 HP, and whatever those stats are. Good to know, that was a level 2, mind you, but I don't actually know that the level of the food matters. I'll test that. Level up. So it was, you know, 3 away. All right, here at the North Beach. Oh, a branch. Darn. What? There we go. That's what I wanted. Turbo, which is what I wanted the least actually out of all of them. When cooking, it's like level 33 recipe. Which is my level, but you know, I don't want I want to do above my level. Alright. Level seven recipe, let's try it. Future Gabe, what are the confirmations? do does a higher level food matter? Yes, no, maybe so. So there are three fish you can catch here at the North Beach. The Grella, or Jurella, however you say it. The Sun Squid, which we have not seen, and then the Turbo. The Sun Squid is the highest one that you need. The Sun Squid takes the highest fishing level. So it is the one I kind of want the most, but Grella is the most useful currently. Because it's the one I have a good chance of, you know, actually managing to cook while still being above my level. There's the Sun Squid. I don't know if I've gotten a Sun Squid before. I'll have to check that. I know I've gotten Lamp Squid. Hopefully I can get multiple Sun Squid right here. That'd be neat. I'll have to head back pretty soon, just because inventory and also time. There's the second Sun Squid. Oh, and I'm full. Alright, so currently I'm at 402 and 40. And all those stats. That was a Salted Rainbow Trout. So 422 and 45, so 5 RP. And uh, whatever changes stats those are, if there are any. You're welcome. I have this proof of warrior. I'd rather toss it than anything else. Okay. Here at the cutting table, we're gonna take one of our turbo and we're gonna chop it up to make turbo sashimi. And we're gonna do the same to one of our Corella. Jarella, however you say it. Now those were levels 28 and 33 respectively, so those were not even something to be worried about. Turbo, I believe fried turbo is level 33 recipe as well, so another thing. Yes, that's level 33. So let's do it. Fried turbo. We have a 55% chance of succeeding here. Let's see if we can do it. Fried Gorella, Jurella, however you want to say it. Yorella, I don't know. Success. And we're at the end of the G now. Back at the chopping board, we're gonna throw a sun squid on and check to see if we have the recipe for it. It does not appear that we have the sun squid recipe. Uh, what's the closest comparison that we have? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I believe it's a little 35 recipe, so close, but no cigar. Okay, sun squid sashimi, let's do it. All right, another gorilla, or gorilla, or however you say it. Nice. Skill level increased. We love to see that. Another one. Another one. 
Dang it. Come on. I need the XP for that, though. Come on. I mean, we're still getting a quarter? A quarter per one, so that's not bad. Maybe 20%? Somewhere in there. Okay, have I ever shipped a sun squid? I have never shipped a sun squid, guys. Huh. When you look at that. Okay. Gorilla sashimi. Slices of raw gorilla served up for consumption. Generally eaten with soy sauce. Sun squid sashimi. A rare squid sliced raw. Its flavor is popular with a select group of people in the know. Fried gorilla. Gorilla salted, then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier will be when it's cooked. Fried turbo. Turbo salted, then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier will be when it's cooked. Turbo sashimi. Slice of raw turbo served up for consumption. The outer rim of the fish is especially tasty. And, uh, yeah. I'm actually gonna throw this down there. I... Let's see. Which ones to eat and which ones to not. I guess the first six are ones all shipping. Okay. Now, let's try the level one fried gorilla. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. And that's the stat difference, if there's any. All right. Back in Machina once again. Fill up on energy and go kick the crap out of some squirrels. There we go, defeated the target monster. Oh, fair. Hmm. Yeah, I say that we just, you know, fight the squirrel and then leave. <laughs> there we go. That's three. Four. Stop dying. <laughs> Five. Perfect. Six. Seven. Eight. And I got a second one of these. Nice. I actually got a third. That's always appreciated. Alright. One more time. Gonna celebrate. Ooh, oh yeah. Don't stop the murdering. Welcome back. Find things a little more difficult this time. You'll never progress if you never challenge yourself. Anyway, here's your reward. You got 3500G. No matter how many monsters we defeat, they just keep coming back, don't they? Sure, there must be something we could do. Well, not right now. Now, one level seven of these. Also, I got seriously three different levels. Come on. Om and om and om. All right, so you have seen what I have been doing. And that's about all I'm gonna be doing. I'm actually gonna cut the episode here for a moment, and I'm going to go finish my day. I'm going to burn off some energy trying to get a bit more gold. Actually, do I even need gold? Yeah, I don't need gold. You know what? Forget what I was saying. I'm gonna go fishing, so I won't even cut the episode here. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so there is one item that I haven't made yet, which I've been using for a while. Quality cloth, sparkle string, cheap bandage, strong string, the hood, and a pair of giant's gloves. We'll make... The level 33 recipe, the Hachimaki. I don't believe I've made it before. If I have, then oh no, I wasted those materials, but I can get them again, it's fine, it's whatever. I want to be sure that I've made it so I can mark it off my list. If I didn't do it last time, that's my fault. But I've done it now. The Hachimaki, the far east equivalent of a bandana. Wrap it around your head and be filled with fighting spirit. If you've been watching this Let's Play, you know what this is, I don't need to explain. Um... I actually meant to ship that multiple times and I haven't yet, and that's weird. <laughs> Whatever. Shipped. Alright. All those items got shipped. How do you upgrade the Courage Badge and why am I holding on to it? No, I, I guess I was upgrading, I was holding it because it's easy to upgrade, but like, 
I don't need to do that at this point. I'm already above that level. Let's see, five attack, five defense, lower my magic attack by four, two more magic defense. Why don't I use this? I'm not sure why I don't use the courage badge over the evil charm. Give me a minute. While I'm running through this, I need to give it a shot anyway. No. I didn't. Ah! Stop giving me good things. I want the scrap metal. Here we go. Ah! Ah! There we go. Got one. Two. You guys are being dicks! Okay. I got like four. Three or four. Okay. Let's do this. Courage badge. Skill level increased. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what's going on here? Do I have the wrong number written down for Courage Badge Upgrade? Because, uh, that is a lot of experience. 55. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Thank you, game. Okay, so this is actually a good way to grind. Courage Badge Upgrade. Okay, so we are already midway through the L. Skill level increased. There we go. So it is now level 7, so it gives 6 defense. How does it stack up now? Yeah, the only thing it's not as good in is magic attack. That's, that's it. I appreciate having this. How about this? This gives 8 less defense, so not really worth doing. I like my defense. But this, this, yeah, I mean, I'll ship my evil charm. So, yeah, right now, it's a pretty good idea to focus on this. Evil charm. A foreign charm filled with evil power. Various curses can be cast or transmitted through this charm. And the brand glasses that we already know all about, which I will not be using to upgrade at this point. Okay, that should be the final item I'm making tonight. I'm at 66%. That's that's a good feeling. I need to stay focused with what I'm doing. But I'm staring at this and I'm like, why haven't I done this more? And I'm like, the entire reason I haven't done it more is because of my inventory space. I need to dedicate myself to one or two things. So if I fish, then I can up my cooking. I have managed to deal with most of the stuff I can do without going on to the final part of the game. So, like I mentioned before, another episode or two, probably, until I go to the final area. I need to figure out what I haven't shipped here, because I have access to most of it. There's a few things I won't until later, but that's fine. Oh, I got a magic crystal, nice. I need those. Hey, stop dying. Alright, fishing time! Turbo, nice. I should also be getting my fishing skill up fairly soon. Cruella. Another one. Uh, branch, goodbye. Sun squid, nice. Turbo. Another sun squid, that's rad. We love to see that. Turbo, nice. Call that good for now. And they got the skill up there. So this is our haul from tonight. All right, let's cook these up and call it quits. Number one, number two, so, going from near the end of the O, 
up to the middle of the eye, so around a letter and a half or so, maybe towards the beginning of the eye. I'm not sure exactly where it was. It was somewhere there. So the middle of the eye right now. Let's see how much one of them gives me. Or not. Or not. There we go. So from the eye, so one, two, three, three and a half, maybe? Theoretically, this will level me up if I can actually do it. No. Just short. I have a bunch of lamp squid. I need to do one anyway. Let's do a gamble. Sashimi. There we go. Lamp squid sashimi. Skillable increased. Since I was right at the edge anyway, might as well try to get the most XP I can. And that actually wasn't worth nearly as much as I was really hoping it would be. What level was the Lamp Squid Sashimi? Let's see, Lamp Squid Sashimi was a level 38 recipe, the same as the Gorilla, so I guess, yeah, that wouldn't be that great, but it's, you know, fine. I will not be using any of my other Lamp Squid. I have a bunch saved up because they are actually a level 50 recipe when you try to fry them up. So way better XP at that point. I'll save those for when I'm trying to grind the upper 40s. Here at the fry pan, we're going to use one flour, one oil, the cabbage I got from the Inquisitive Waltz like four episodes ago or something, and an onion all together to make the gyoza. Alright, now... I, I have no idea which one of the right fish. They don't have the text. Okay, give me a moment. It's just like an inverted eye thing in Finn. Turbo Flounder. Okay. Flounder. I believe this is a level 36 recipe. Give me a moment. Yes, a level 36 recipe. Which means that we should have a 82% uh, chance of succeeding. There we go. And we're going to cook up the turbo while we're here. As well as the two Gorella, Gorella, however you say it, Gorella that were over in my other fridge. There we go. After using up all of our energy for this, we're getting closer to level 36, not bad. Okay. Gyoza, a meat and vegetable mix wrapped into thin, in a thin piece of dough, can either be fried or boiled. Flounder sashimi. Slices of raw flounder served up for consumption. The outer rim of the fish is especially expensive. I believe I read that. Fry turbo... Oh no, I didn't read this. This is different. Right. Uh, turbo's already been done. Grail's been done. Uh, where is it? Lamp squid sashimi. Lamp squid sliced raw and it's lamp gently seasoned. A warm, heartfelt fish. Dish. However you say that. And I... I think that's all of them. Yeah. I might as well hold on to that. It's food, right? Okay, so here in my fridge, I actually had a bunch of things I didn't really realize. So there were flounder, there were two of them, so I was smart enough to keep one of each. So the other one I'll deal with when I'm higher level because it's a higher level recipe. And in my other fridge, I believe I have Yellowtail and a few other things that I will deal with. I'll deal with one of them tomorrow. You know what? I've decided to change my opinion on what I'm doing. I'm going to make it a shorter episode again. Tomorrow's a birthday, I believe. Actually, let's double check that. Yep, it's Natalie's birthday. So we'll take care of Natalie's birthday. We'll take care of more questing to try to finish off Machina Valley and go into Padova Mountains. And... Oh, it's our birthday day after. Huh. Wild. Weird. Beyond, uh, you know, Natalie's birthday and our birthday the day after, we have to get into the rest of it. I'm not sure, I'm not positive on which day it is that I will end up beating the boss of Padova. But, like, once I get up my Courage Badge up to level 10 and start grinding out some more stuff, 
I don't think it should be a huge concern. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye, bye.